This is Yuki Kaijura, A Song of Storm and Fire, live. Do you know the name of our singer, Miavolent? Because that is something I would really like to know. Hi, Trinks. Welcome, welcome. Good to see you. I think you became VIP when you like curated two of the biggest events on the stream. So <laughs> I may have just tossed it at you. Uh, but I'm glad you could join us today. So Eri Ito is our vocalist, lead vocalist right now. Beautiful singing. Very clean, clear, and yet round and resonant tone. Matches perfectly well with this like really fast drum and bass. Very powerful keyboard and beautiful violin melody coming in. I love this. It's very exciting. It's electric, right? <laughs> Yeah, some really awesomely coordinated onsets in that ensemble. Really great coordination. Uh, hard to do with that many people, right? Especially when you're all mic'd in and you have your headsets in and or in your monitors, whatever you're using. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to get those all really in sync. You have to all be really on the same page. Uh, beautiful. I think that needs to be me mentioned, uh, especially when going through this. Awesome. <laughs> Keeping that E vowel so pure in that range and then being able to just open up because the E vowel inherently, if you make a really pure E, which is like the e -est of E's, right? The most forward E sound, it adds a layer, you know, there's an inherent tightness to that sound. So having your air so steady, it's it's really virtuosic. Having your air so steady to maintain that really clear E vowel and then open up into a really resonant all on the top as she just did. That requires just an, a complete disconnect, not well, not disconnect, but complete uh, independence of the breathing mechanism from the actual sound. Super hard to do. That takes a lot of practice, a lot of training. Really, really good. Not by name, Wither. Hi, Trinks. Good luck with everything. I know you're busy. See you around.
what I love is that it's you're pairing in this in this style of music, you pair like the beauty of classical music, the beauty and sort of um, atomic, you know, Western harmonic, simple yet very lovely timbres. It is an electric violin, but it's using just a normal violin sound uh, and a piano, acoustic piano. And then underneath it, you have that like hype EDM feel, of, like that drum and bass rhythm. It's it's such a unique sensation, like a really high BPM, really lovely timbre. It's so awesome. Well, when you grew up playing classical violin, you don't think that the electrical violin could replace a classical one in an orchestra, for example. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's probably so much more. There's more so much more flexibility in a uh, in an acoustic instrument than there is with an electric instrument, right? And now electric instruments are getting more and more advanced to where you can actually <clears throat> choose more more uh, layers, more different dynamics that can occur with a, an electric instrument. Um, but here we are with a very beautiful electric violin. You know, the strings can still vibrate in the same way. It just goes through a different sort of acoustic process, right? Electric instruments are usually quieter. From what I've heard, acoustics resonate more. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the method at which the sound becomes a vibration in the air, right? What's the inception of the sound? In both cases, you're still vibrating a string of some kind. Except with an electric violin, it becomes a signal, a digital signal that goes through a, an audio processor driver that then bounces out of a speaker. Whereas with an acoustic violin, you get it, the body, the wood body of the violin literally takes that uh, resonance from the string and accentuates it. Well, the initial, you know, vibration from the string and, and resonates it higher. Anyway, some big brain, big brain stuff happening in chat right now. <laughs> Probably from, yeah. There, okay, there are so many good rhetorical questions happening in chat that people are probably just throwing out there, but I actually want to kind of talk about it. Capriano, thank you for that gifted sub to Grim. Thank you very much. Um, where do we start? So why, why does this sound like it could be Epica? Because Epica and this band we're just hearing now, like Yuki Kajira's you know, ensemble, right? This music is incredibly classically influenced right the harmonies everything we're getting the textures and epica is the same way it's not you know it's a no-brainer if you've listened to more than one album of epica there is a lot of classical musical influence especially you know looking back on baroque uh and early you know 1700s classical era type of music and you get that kind of influence from acoustic ensembles the instrumentation as well the instrumentation is probably one of the biggest overlaps between this group and Epica. Uh, and I, I'd say that's, you know, how I, probably what would uh, be why you hear Epica when you're hearing this, especially if you're more used to that sort of uh, European uh, symphonic metal. 
Uh, big battle scene vibes, absolutely. And I think big battle scene vibes, if you're relating this to, you know, for example, something from Sword Art Online and those incredibly, you know, powerful battles where I think in while watching the series, we counted like four different times where you got psyched out um, because he whips out a second sword, right? A second sword, the dual wield mind fuck, mind mind mash whatever <laughs> the dual wield surprise shocker right because it and you've seen it three times before but you're still shocked the the fourth time it happens uh, and it happens always at that climax of music i mean one thing that's really awesome about anime i know so many music students uh when i was in school who also really loved watching anime and i think part of that is because the music for anime is so good and the storyline and the way the show is written and the scenes are laid out are so in line with how the music is set right and it, if it's maybe it's a chicken or egg thing was the music that way or is the uh or is the writing that way and then the music comes after probably the music comes first right i don't know i wouldn't be surprised um the harmony reminds you of church and a lot of church music is uh you know that kind of influence right anyway a lot of cool ideas bouncing around hey Wingy, thank you oh, windy fujin thank you for the four months welcome back it's good to see you um. Yeah, uh, insecure. I think I did do Hallow Be Thy Name. I might be wrong though. Uh, epic anime music is what has led to the explosion of modern Japanese metal. Maybe, but I think I think anime music has so much in common with like European power metal. But there, you know, I think there is. I think it's like the same. Pheno like globalized phenomenon that is kind of fostered the the actually i mean you could probably make a cool case if you're a cultural if you study culture in some way you could probably make a really cool thesis around the idea that the like surge of popularity with european metal and symphonic metal is paralleled with the surge of uh, popularity of like anime and as uh, the music as well i think there's like a probably a huge comparison that can be made there. I don't know what it is. That's some big brain. That's bigger brain than anything I can say. Um, but I think that's pretty... That's an interesting cultural dynamic. Because if you look at the timelines, they're not really dissimilar. Dude, Americans aren't included in, in, my, dis, in my argument. I don't know what Americans do. That was beautiful, Malphone. Thank you for that suggestion. Hey, you're still here. I hope you enjoyed that look into what we do on Twitch to celebrate great singers. You know, I owe you a huge thank you for being a part of this awesome community and letting me share my love of singing with you guys. The growth on this channel has been absolutely immense. And while I can't read every single comment requesting reactions, here's what you can do to get your favorite songs featured on the channel. You've got three options. One is to join the Twitch stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays when you've logged into Twitch and are watching the live stream, you can type exclamation point react, followed by the URL of your requested video. This adds your song to the queue that we work through during live streams. Alternatively, if you're really in a rush to get me to react to your song, you can head to my tipping page in the description down below and request a song with a tip of $4 or more to get it seen ahead of all the non-tipped requests. Don't worry, I make sure that every dollar gets put towards improving the channel's content and the community. The third way to get your request up on the channel is to join my Patreon. A patron of any tier level can request a song and get it reacted to that month, guaranteed. There are tons of other fun perks too, so I hope you check it out anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel closer to the human voice and the artists you love, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Ciao. Tip trick voice. <laughs> you. Are you so cute? Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so cute.